Hey guys, welcome to the last part of our CI CD for container series. Now this is the part four. So during last three parts, we have built an architecture like this. Now I have my code in my laptop. There's a containerized express application. Then I will build that containerized application locally. And then I will upload that built image to AWS ECR the Elastic Container Registry. And afterwards, in our ECS or Elastic Container Service, which use AWS Fargate, we created a new task definition using the image that we pushed on to ECR. And then we associate that task definition with the ECS service, which maintain number of tasks that we have defined in AWS Fargate. I think we have spin up two tasks in the service. So our ECS, which use Fargate, will always maintain two tasks or containers per se and those containers will run my express application so anybody from internet they will access that through an application load balancer and once they make a request it will reach out to the ALB or elastic load balancer and that application load balancer will route that traffic into those tasks in my ECS cluster using Fargate and today we are going to automate this whole part. We are not going to manually push container images to ECR, but instead we are going to use AWS code pipeline to build the image and push it to ECR. And then we will have another stage to deploy that task definition using those ECR images into AWS Fargate cluster or ECS cluster that use AWS Fargate. So let's get started. Now, uh, before that, a quick word about the NAT gateway that we have spin up uh, for our tasks in the private subnet to access internet and grab the express uh, NPM dependencies. So this is going to cost you money. So if you are following along, once you have done with that, just uh, make sure you uh, remove this NAT gateway. Otherwise, you will be charged. Now I'm here in my ALB endpoint. So this is my ALB DNS name. Now if I refresh it, so I just changed the message to hello YouTube. So the task, the container that runs in AWS ECS will send me this message. I have updated one of the files in the CICD container repository in GitHub. I want you to take a sync. I have added this buildspec.yml file. So first let's take a sync. You can easily do that uh, by git pull. So it's already updated. Make sure that you have this buildspec.yml file. So this is the one that we are going to use in our AWS code pipeline in the build stage. Now, the first step is to link our GitHub repo with AWS code pipeline. So right now I have my GitHub repository, which is not linked with any code pipeline. I will create a code pipeline first. So let me go to AWS management console and make sure you are in the region where your ECS cluster is. So my ECS cluster is in EUS East 1, North Virginia. So I'm going to create a code pipeline in the same region. So I will click code pipeline here, or you can search it here. So I don't have any code pipeline at the moment. So I'll click create pipeline, name it, let's say YouTube. And here you can either create a new service role or use existing service role. So I'll create a new service role. And then I'll click next here. So this is the place where we are configuring the source code. So where, where are we getting the source code? It's basically from GitHub. So I will pick GitHub here. And then you get this button, connect to GitHub, click on that. Then you might have to click accept and allow screens. I have already allowed those security questions. Afterwards, you will get this message. You have successfully configured action with the provider. Then. If you click on repositories, you should see all the repositories in your GitHub. I will search for CI CD. So this is my repository. So I will select this one. So if you are following alone, you can easily take a fork into your GitHub repository and then link it with AWS code pipeline in code build stage like this. And the branch that I'm using is master branch and then select GitHub web webhooks. So every time you push a change to GitHub, this will be triggered. The code pipeline will be triggered. So source stage is now configured. Now we'll go to the build stage. So this is the place where we are going to use AWS code build. So pick code build and select the region USD one and then click create project. So it's going to open up a new window. You can maximize that. 
here I can give a name to my code build project. I will just say build and then I have to pick the environment that this code build should use. So here I can either use a manage image or custom image. You can specify a Docker image, but I'll use a manage image here. And the operating system that I'm going to use is Ubuntu. Pick this one. You can pick the runtime as standard. I think this comes along with Docker install if I'm not mistaken. And then the image, you can pick standard 1.0. If you are picking standard 2.0 in the code build spec file, you have to specifically mention the runtime in standard 1.0, you don't have to. So just uh, specify uh, or select 1.0 here. And the image version, always use the latest. And then make sure you check this because it says enable this flag if you want to build Docker images. Because we are going to build the Docker image out of the code that we get from the source stage, check this. And then, uh, I can create a new service role or existing service role. You can give it a name. I will just rename this to YouTube, AWS code build, build YouTube role. And later on, we'll go to this role and provide the permission to pull images from ECR. So we have to provide the ECR power user policy, the manage policy. We'll do that afterwards. Additional configuration, you don't necessarily have to add anything. And here, you can either use a build spec file or you can insert the build command here. So this is the place we are going to make use of the build spec file that you might have checked out when pulling the latest uh, code from GitHub. So I will open the build spec file. So this build spec file defines what are the steps that code build should execute. Now there are several stages, pre-build phase, uh, build phase and post-build phase. Now, if you can remember, when we are pushing our Docker images to ECR from our local machine, first we had to log into ECR. So that is what happens at pre-build stage. So this is the same command that we use to log into ECR. So we are using AWS ECR get login. So after this, you will be successfully logged into ECR. And then at the build stage, first we need to build our Docker image and then we will tag our Docker image and after that, in the post stage, we will push that built Docker image to ECR. So that is what happens in this line. Now let's replace these placeholders. So uh, you build the Docker image using Docker build dash T. So this is the image name and this is the context. So the current context, you can find the Docker file here. So image name is this. So I will just copy this one and I replace uh, the image name placeholder. Now we are going to tag it. So we are docker tag the image. Then we are tagging with our ECR URL. So we have to find that. Let me open ECR in a new tab. So this is our repository. Click onto that and there we go. So this is our full image URL. So copy that one and come back here and replace it with this. So Docker tagging part is now complete. And after that, we need to push this tagged image to ECR. So how to do that? So it's basically we have to use Docker push. Again, the ECR URL, the same URL that we have uh, copied. Then it will successfully push, push my image to ECR. But that much is not enough because the next step is deploying a task definition into our ECS cluster. So in order to do that, we have to provide some information to the next step. So that's what we are doing in this line. So we are basically creating a new JSON file and we call it image definitions.json and this JSON file contains this content. So it basically has a name. So here we have to replace it with our task definition name. So I can find my task definition name if I quickly go to ECS, the cluster that we have used or configured in previous uh, lectures was this one. So here I will go to task definition. So the task definition name is hello world, you see? So I will just copy this and come back here and task definition name, I will paste it here. And then we have to provide the image URI for this task definition. So that is nothing but our ECR image URL. So I will just copy here and replace this placeholder here and then output that JSON file into a file called image definitions.json. And then as artifacts, 
we will have our image definition open for our next stage to be used. So what is the next stage? The deploy stage. So I'll replace these values and I will copy this content and let's go to our code pipeline here. And you can see we, we were here, you know, using a build spec file or inserting the build command. Now I can do either way. For simplicity, I will insert the build command in line. So I will select this, switch to editor and then clean all this code here and replace it with the copied code. And let's move on. Make sure you check this one, CloudWatch logs, so we can see any logs. And then I will click continue to code pipeline. So it says this is already existing because I've created one of these earlier. So I just say build YouTube as my project name and let's try again. Okay, it was successfully saved and it got me back to my code pipeline stage where I left off. So now it's filled the code uh, build project name here. I can click next. And this is our next step, which is the deploy stage. So at this deploy stage, we are going to use ECS as our provider. So this is a very easy way of uh, deploying services to ECS. So I'm using ECS deploy provider. And then I have to pick the region, UST is one. The cluster that I'm going to deploy is my cluster. So this is the one we have created in previous lectures. And the service that I'm going to deploy into is hello world. And then I'm asked to enter the image definition file, the JSON file that we have outputted in the previous stage, which is image definition.json. At that, make sure you spelled it correctly. And then I will click next and review and click create pipeline. So it's created and it start pulling in the code from GitHub. But it's going to fail at this build stage because we haven't added the permission to our code build role. So what we can do here is I will go to code build. So you see it failed. Now if I click on the link here, I should see the command execution error. So this part it actually didn't run, you know, getting access to AWS ECR because we don't have the necessary permission attached to that role. So let's do that. I will go to services and I will go to identity and access management, open it in a new tab and here I will go to roles. The role I created is code build, build YouTube role. So this is the one I attached to my code build project. So I will click here. You can see I don't have any permission to communicate with ECR. So I'll do is I'll click attach policy and then there should be a manage policy. If you search for EC2 container registry power user. So this should do. You don't have to give full access. Power user is enough. And then I will click attach policy. All right. So with that, my AWS code build project should be able to log into ECR. This error message will not show again. I will go to code pipeline and I'll trigger a new release. So I go back to code pipeline here. The first one is failed. That's fine. Click on to that and I will click release change release. So it's going to go in progress mode pulling in the source, build stage started. We'll see if this is successful. I will click on to the code build project again and let's view the logs still in progress. And as you can see, the login is succeeded now. Login to ECR and our Docker image is also built. You see the steps are also executed. And finally, it has created this image definitions your JSON file. I think this should be fairly completed now. Yes, it succeeded. Okay, so the build stage is now complete. Let's go back to our code pipeline. Check the next stage, which is deploy stage. So build state completed. Now it is deploying. So deploying to ECS now. So if I click on ECS, the link here should take me to my cluster. And as you can see, hello world eight. You know, earlier it was seven. Now the task definition number eight has been created. Now let's look at that. See, hello world eight has been created. Now if I go to the cluster again, you can see there's four tasks running at the moment, but the desired count is two tasks. So let's see what's happening there. So desired count is two, but there are four tasks running. So I will go to task section. Then I will see all those four tasks. As you can see, there are two hello world eight version tasks and there are 
two hello world seven tasks now these were all tasks so what ECS will do is it will remove these two tasks and will maintain the desired count to two with the latest tasks definitions so that's going to take some time so I'll post the video a little bit okay deployment is now complete you can see it succeeded I will go to my ALB now and then do a refresh you can see it still show hello YouTube that all fine so what we can do here is we'll do a change to the message so I'll come here go to app.js so instead of hello YouTube I'll type hello world with two exclamation marks <laughs> and then I'll come here and I will git add all the changes and git commit change display name then hit enter then I will push the image to origin master so it's completed see the change display name 23 seconds ago and now if I go to code pipeline and I should see the code pipeline is in progress now so as and when I commit the code the webhook triggers and then it starts the code pipeline there you go so now it's running the build stage so by the end of this code pipeline I should see my message ideally so I'll post the video and check this okay the code pipeline is now completed so now let's go to our ALB DNS or the URL and let's refresh so this is the moment that we've been waiting for so I'll click refresh there you go hello world perfect so my code pipeline pull the code from github then it build the docker image tag it and push it to ECR and at the deploy stage it created a task definition and deployed a task from that definition to our service so that our load balancer can route traffic to those tasks or the containers hence the newly created container showed me the new message hello world all right guys so this is what i want to show you with this let's conclude this last part and i want to remind you again once you are done with this make sure you delete this net gateway otherwise you will be charged okay i will see you again in a new video thanks